Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm doing my preliminary spring outlook 2017. I might be doing two more of these, but for sure I will be doing one more of these. So just ex expect one or two more of these outlooks for the spring. Let's get right into it. First, I'd like to look at the NOAA three-month seasonal outlook for the ter for the temperatures, and you could see above average in the southwest. That's that's what they're predicting for in general for the three months combined, which is February, March, and April. For those months, they predict above average in the southwest, and av uh, 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 just slightly above average across. I don't know, just across like this region. I don't know how to describe it. And across where it's just white, that's equal chances of being above or below normal. Now let's look at the precipitation outlook. And for the three months again, February, March, and April, you could see areas in the southwest here by the four corners might be a slightly or below average precipitation along same here, same situation in the southeast. They are getting a lot of rain now, but don't get mistaken by that because there might be less rain coming, so just kind of just stay prepared because they might become dry there. And California, you have done just California has had so much rain, but the rain was such a good result because it did not do that much flooding and it did not turn out too bad. And now they're almost compared to maybe a month ago, they're way, way better stance. They're almost out of the drought in some areas. Yes, of course, is California still in a drought? Yes, some areas are still in exceptional drought, but it's substantially better. And you could see all of these areas, equal chances for above or below average uh, precipitation. Now, let's look at a different model, and this is the CFS, temperature, seasonal, um, also three months. This one is February, yeah, February, March, and April. So, this is for temperatures. They don't have a precipitation one. It only has temperatures, and you can see northwest Slightly cooler than average here, equal chances of being below or above average. And here, across the eastern third, east of the Rockies, just above average. And pretty much April, just like the whole country above average. Same story in, um, no, this is March, sorry. This is March, and the same story in April. So you might be looking at this wondering, well, how warm will it be? Probably, maybe. Four to five degrees above average th throughout the whole month. So no, it's not going to be a heat wave spring, but it will be slightly warmer than average across most areas. Now I want to look at the like the official probabilistic ENSO forecast, and that pretty much is like the prediction of the La Nina and El Nino and neutral pattern. So you could see right here we are right here January, February, March neutral La Nina. La Nina and El Nino. The El Nino chances for now are very slim. The La Nina chances are about 25 and then the neutral chance is 70. So we will stay about neutral La Nina all the way till about maybe August, September, October 2017 when the El Nino might, might become stronger and might overtake the neutral. And but you can see the La Nina is dominant over the El Nino up until about uh, March, April, May. But the neutral is the strongest, but it is still the La Nina still will have an impact on the spring. And the La Nina, just for you that don't remember, is when the cold air is across the eastern third and there's warmer air across the western ter third of the country. Here it's wetter, warmer, and drier across the south. That will be at the beginning. This pattern will be at the beginning of the spring, but towards the end it will become more neutral, which means just equal chances for being just pretty much average, because the El Nino is above for uh, the west and the below for the above for the east and below for the west, and the La Nina is below for the east and above for the west. So neutral is just equal, pretty much. So, and I finally came up with my own outlook, and this is how it looks like. Each color has its own representation, and this is temperature-wise. So let's start off with these states. Temperature-wise, these states in the northern tier, I guess, northeastern, northern third, states like Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, uh, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine will be slightly above 
uh, slightly below average temperatures due to the fact that the La Nina still will persist through the early spring. States in the grayish color are equal chances for being above or below, nothing, nothing special. States that are in the southeast, up to Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Florida, those states will be slightly above average, also including Montana, Washington, Alaska, and Hawaii. Also, nothing too much to worry about, just slightly above average temperatures, and the worst situ uh, situation when it comes to temperatures will probably be in the southwest because states like Texas, New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming, Idaho, Oregon, California, Nevada, Utah, and Arizona will be the hottest, meaning they won't be really hot, but they will be probably above average temperatures for the first three months of spring, or just for pretty much March, April, and May, because spring kind of continues calendar-wise into June, but meteorologically, it stops at June 1st, and that's when summer starts, so here will be the driest, and that might not help with the drought that still persists in California, even though it's not nearly as bad. Now, we move on to the precipitation outlook. You see a lot of states in the gray. Gray, right off the bat, I'm going to say it's equal chances for being above or below uh, chances for precipitation. And the slightly green ones, that's most likely, slightly, to be most likely. <laughs> like It's going to be slightly above average precipitation chances here due to the storms coming off the Pacific. And here, there might be several Alberta clippers coming across and uh, scooting these. Uh, pretty much brushing aside these states. Here, equal chances, like I already said. <clears throat> in the southeast, probably below average, because right now they're getting rain, but in, in general, for the three months, it will be below average. And here, slightly above uh, below average, but more, more closer to equal chances than above average, but I just put them as slightly above average because that's what it seems like as of now. This is preliminary, meaning none of this is still 100%. It's just a like a rough outlook for the spring. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, see you in the next episode.